Hello and welcome to Education First, Sanayana's only educational news and public information program here on Channel 31. I'm Cesar Vargas. And I'm Ana Landrian. Jeff Gothard is still on assignment. This week we take you to a special Martin Luther King Jr. Assembly at Valley West and we introduce you to our newest school board member. The life of civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. was honored this month with a special assembly put together by members of the Black Student Union at Valley High West. The new auditorium and theater complex at Valley High West campus at Gonines was the site of a special assembly honoring Martin Luther King Jr. this month. Assistant Principal Roger Frazier performed an instrumental solo to set the mood for the event. As a country and be free and accept the things that we could do and actually do them for the betterment of ourselves and our society. And if we look around the room today, we can see that aspect of his dream is true and it's reality. But the second part, the part of where do we go from here, that's the thing that we want to celebrate today and to move forward in. It's that community service aspect. It's that getting out of ourselves and looking at our communities and seeing how can we lead in the capacities that we have ourselves. The assistant director of UCI's New Kirk Center for Science and Society and current secretary treasurer of the Black Chamber of Commerce of Orange County, Marlene Dice, was the keynote speaker. We need more faces that look like us, all of us, black, brown, red, yellow. If you're not present at the table where the laws and the rules are being made, you may be left out, and that's happened in many cases. So I want to implore all of you to know what's available out there and to be involved. That is the best way to continue his legacy, is to do what you can to help in your communities. Mind, heart, and guts. Your mind, very important. Get an education, learn something. Don't just go to class. Learn something, want to be something, want to know something, okay? Be smart. Heart, you got to care. Respect yourself, respect others, be proud of who you are, represent. Represent your community, represent your family, represent your school, represent what you believe in. Guts, do you have the guts to stand up for others if they're getting beaten down, to have a voice for yourself, to fight for what you believe in, to do the right thing. Um, the teacher in me, as I was sitting there, wanted to have each one of you take out a piece of paper and write down what you can think of as the one thing in your life you can attribute to Dr. King's work. What's something that has happened in your life for the good that you can attribute to Dr. King's work? We spoke to some of the black student leadership at Valley High West and their mentors after the event about the legacy of Martin Luther King Jr. Why well, I feel it's important, well, like, because he was a true visionary and like he wanted everybody to be equal. You know, like he and the thing that I like about it was he wasn't concerned with just the black people. He was concerned with everybody, like no matter what race or ethnicity you were, he cared about everybody, and not just blacks and whites. So that's why I think we need to keep the spirit alive to know that we're all in this together and we're not just one race apart. The Black Student Union is open to all students of any race, creed, or color who are interested in learning about the um, African-American history in this country and how it all came about. Um, and it, a lot of people don't realize it, but it does span just about every culture. And we do have community service events that we participate in. In particular, coming up on Monday evening, we'll be volunteering at the Volunteer Center of Orange County to the Pack-a-Box program. 
and this will be our second year of participation in that. Even today, it's very important to keep the legacy alive. You may feel that the work has been done, but it's never done because we still have people being treated unequally and injustice being done. And until we can all embrace the idea of Dr. King, the work is not complete. Happy birthday, Dr. King! Words, deeds, and ideas about freedom and justice that were expressed by Martin Luther King Jr. during the 1960s are alive and well here in Santa Ana and are being carried forward by our high school students as they ready themselves for the challenges they will face in the wider world. At a special board meeting, the Board of Education interviewed many candidates before deciding upon one to take the position of Salty Najero, who has gone on to take a seat with the Santa Ana City Council. We now introduce you to the newest member of the Board of Education. Uh, good evening, everyone, and uh, uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank all the board members. And uh, you know, it was, a, it was an interesting process, and I was glad I was a part of it, uh, and I hope to add a lot to, to the school board. Um, Tonight joining me uh, are my parents, uh, who have been very supportive throughout my life. Uh, my father is sitting in the back, uh, Alfredo Hernandez. My mother, Guillermina Hernandez, is also here with me today. Uh, my sister, uh, Veronica Guillen, and uh, my brother-in-law, Lalo, with uh, my nephew, who attends one of these schools here, uh, Eduardo Guillen. And uh, watching from home tonight is my wife with my four boys, so. All right. I hope to have them here on, on Tuesday. Good. Well, thank you so much, and congratulations to you. We're looking forward to working with you and meeting the rest of your family. And, uh, you know, the uh, old saying is that to, to, uh, um, to, to those to whom much is given, much is expected. There is a great That's deal right. expected of you and your conduct now as you join this board and your role in helping us become a better group uh, of five once again, which uh, it, it, I look forward to us being back at 100% uh, strength. So uh, welcome I, I, aboard. I realize that, and I, st I hope to fulfill all your expectations. So. Very good. Thank <laughs> Thanks very much. I, you know, as, as you may know already, I grew up here in Santa Ana. I've been here since 1979. Uh, again, product of the school district, went to Madison at Elementary, Lathrop, and graduated from Century High School. Um, you know, I've been involved in, uh, in the school district as a, a substitute teacher. And uh, now as a parent, I have two boys who are currently in the school district and about one who's a year and a half away from you know, uh, coming into the school district as well. Uh, I have a lot of expectations uh, for myself. I know, I know that there's a lot of people that are going to put some expectations on me. Mm -hmm. No need. I already have them for myself. I really feel that we need to uh, address uh, the budget situation, get that under control, so then we can also uh, address all the, uh, the failing schools that we have. And there's a lot of, uh, of things that we can uh, lead. Take, for example, other classes, other schools that are doing well. Uh, take their example, take their lead, and and apply it to some of the schools that are failing. And uh, those are my two main goals, uh, you know, to work with the board, obviously, and, uh, uh, you know, overcome all these politics that we have. I don't have a political agenda. I am looking at the best interest of the kids, and, and that's the way I'm going to take this seat. Uh, I have no preconceived uh, notions about anything. I'm coming here with a blank mind and willing and uh, able to listen to anybody, what anybody has to say, and making a decision that is going to be in the best interest of the kids and the rest of the employees of the districts. Okay. Worried about catching the flu? Frequent hand washing is the single most important way to reduce the transmission of germs that can make you sick. Where are these germs? Organisms that can cause a variety of illnesses are present just about everywhere in our environment, including doorknobs, elevator buttons, telephones, computer keyboards, and more. Many times, all it takes for you to catch the flu is to touch something like an elevator button and then touch your face. So hand washing is critical. When do you need to wash your hands? Wash before and after you prepare food and eat. 
wash your hands after you, cough or sneeze, use the restroom, clean house, or do other chores like taking out the trash, work in your garden or yard, and play with or groom your pets. And if someone in your home or workplace is sick, you need to wash your hands more frequently. Remember, frequent and effective hand washing is the best way to help keep you from getting the flu. This message brought to you by Anaheim Memorial Medical Center, caring for our community. Passing gas around infants can be deadly. Passing gas releases a toxic fog of ammonia and hydrogen cyanide which can be especially harmful on an infant's developing lungs. Passing gas can even contribute to sudden infant death syndrome. Kids shouldn't be exposed to secondhand smoke. Don't pass gas, take it outside. Are you an artist or a digital artist? We are looking for creative Channel 31 graphics made by students in Santa Ana schools. If you think you have a great idea for a station identification logo, draw it or print it in a piece of 8.5 by 11 inch paper or poster board using landscape or white shape canvas like this. Send it to us at SAUSD Channel 31, 1601 East Chestnut Avenue, Santa Ana, California, 92701 or you can have your teacher send it to us directly from your school via district mail. Your entries will be judged by the visual and performing arts staff here and the winner will receive a Blockbuster gift card and we will show the winning artwork here on the channel. Make sure to include your name, grade, and which Santa Ana school you go to with your entry. The entries are due on January 31st, 2007, so there's still time to get your entry into us. Channel 31 offers educational videos from the Futures Channel that connect science, math, arts, and technology concepts with real-world careers. Stay tuned to see them after this edition of Education First. We also are presenting a National Geographic series about animals that will be shown on this channel at 11.30 a.m., 1.30 p.m., and 8.30 p.m. Also on Channel 31, all this week at 10.30 a.m., 12.30 p.m. and 7.30 p.m., except for Tuesday evening during the board meeting, we will continue showing Help Me Grow, produced by KOCE-TV. This program will be presented in English, followed by a presentation in Spanish. It's about how parents can learn more about healthy ways to help their children learn and grow. This week's episode is called How to Have a Healthy Baby. We'd like to hear from you, so if you have good news about your Santa Ana school or you just want to let us know how we're doing, please call us at 480-5374. Write to us or email us at our new, shorter email address, channel31 at sausd.us. Stay tuned after this news brief for creative book reports from Santiago Elementary students. That's our news for today. Thank you for watching. Remember, if you see something you like on our show, Please tell a friend. I'm Ana Landrian. And I'm Cesar Vargas for Education First, Santa Ana's only educational news and public information program here on Channel 31.